that I couldn't remember my name, I couldn't remember anything, and I just sat there, and I literally just like got up and turned the blank piece of paper in. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It is almost time for the next school year, and I'm passing on my information from being a freshman last year. So I know lots of people are always worried, like especially like, I don't know, for some reason freshmen are always worried, but I don't really know why because it's not that scary. So I'm here to reassure you and give you all the tips and tricks on freshman year. But before we get on to the video, you guys can get a weekly subscription to my channel by clicking the red button down below. Just kidding, it's just subscribing, but you know, it's kind of weird to think about it as like, it basically basically is a weekly subscription, but it's free, so you know, click that red button. <laughs> Alright, now let's get on to the video. So my first piece of advice is about attitude. So attitude is always one that I feel like is very cliche, I guess, <laughs> but we kind of have this motto in my family where it's like, if you like math class, it'll like you back. So let's just say I'm sitting in math class, the worst class ever, so boring, teachers always joking on and on and on about some random numerals and decimals and stuff like that. Well, you gotta kind of convince yourself that it's super interesting and entertaining and that when people ask you a favorite subject, you gotta say that one's your favorite subject. And I promise you, you will see it in your grades later on. I've had this happen to me. I used to hate math class. And then I kind of like convinced myself that it was fun. And now math is one of my best subjects. So it actually works. And attitude is totally something that you need to have a good one for in high school. So my next piece of advice is to join a lot of clubs or like extracurricular activities. If you're super nervous about making friends like I was when I first came into high school, I was kind of like nervous a little bit because it was like a whole new pool of people and so you don't really know who you're gonna fit in with. But if you join a whole bunch of clubs, you kind of find people who are similar interests with you. In my school, they have a ton of things. They have like, I mean, they have like chess club, baking club, they have a hammocking club, Spanish club, they have like dancing club, they have a lot of stuff. So join a whole bunch of clubs. All right, great. What I found out in my freshman year is that like the first part of the semester, I always hate it because you put one grade in there and then that's your actual grade. So you have to make sure the first grade is really good, otherwise your grades will not look good. But there's a lot of time between the first part of the semester and the end of the semester. So remember that things will always change and your grades will most likely improve if you're actually just there in class and turning your stuff on time. So don't stress too much about your grades, just make sure that you're trying as hard as you can. All right, anxiety. I know this is kind of a touchy subject for some people. I don't have super like big anxiety about anything. I wasn't super nervous coming into freshman year and I don't really get test anxiety. But one time, but this was like right after tour and I had this big test that I like didn't, like I knew I like tried to study so hard for it, but I just wasn't quite grasping the material. And all of a sudden, as soon as I sit down, I just forget everything. And it was like the weirdest feeling. It was like, I didn't even write my name on the test. I couldn't remember my name. I couldn't remember anything. And I just sat there and literally I just like, everybody else turned their test in and I was still sitting there. I hadn't even written my name down. And I literally just like got up and turned the blank piece of paper in. And my teacher was so confused because I was like a pretty good student and I always got one of the highest test grades and stuff like that. So she took me out to the hall and she's like, are you okay? Like what is wrong? And I was like, oh, I just couldn't remember anything. And she's like, yeah, it sounds like you just kind of were like nervous or something. She's like, I'll you take it again tomorrow if you want. But what was really funny about this story is that she told me, Brooklyn had it earlier, two or, two or three years ago. She said that the same exact thing happened to Brooklyn on the same test. But I ended up taking the test again and it was just fine. But I mean, anxiety is totally normal, so don't feel bad if the same thing happens to you. All right, this next topic is bullies. So I find that, especially now, in middle, or in middle school and elementary school, it was more like the stereotypical like bullies, but at least in high school, it's a little bit harder to actually find bullies. Typically the bullies are two-faced, so there'll be one person to your face and there'll be a completely another person behind your back. So you just kind of have to be aware of people like that. And a lot of times people who are kind of bullies have a lot of stuff going on in their own personal life. So I always just try to be nice to everyone and if they still have something bad to say about me, I just kind of think like, is this really gonna, is this still gonna hurt me in two years? And if it does, then I might confront the person and be like, hey, can you please stop saying this? But a lot of the time I find that I'm not really gonna care about it in a few years. I won't even probably see this person in a few years. So it's really not as big a deal as you think it is in the moment. A lot of people will think things about my family and YouTube and stuff, but you know, I just kind of don't let it affect me. And yeah. All right, next tip is social media. 
So this one is a big, big thing in high school. Social media can be used for good and for bad. You use it a ton in school, but it can also be used to harm your learning in school. So I know a lot of people think that like, they'll post a picture and then they can delete it later and it'll never be there. I just wanna tell you guys, it's always gonna be on the internet. It's always gonna be there. People are always gonna find it. So never post anything that you wouldn't show to your grandma. That's my <laughs> that's my rule of thumb. If you wouldn't show it to my grandma, then don't post it or don't send it or don't do anything like that. And even on private Twitters, I know lots of people who have private Twitters, and private Instagrams, they always come back and they always find you. So just know nothing is ever private or personal. And another big topic on social media is like FOMO or missing out and stuff like that. This has happened to me plenty of times where like, my friend group will go out and they'll hang out and I'll see a picture on Instagram. But I know that it's just kind of innocent and maybe I just got I got lost in the memo. I just didn't get an invite. Yeah, everybody's gonna have that. So you just gotta kind of brush it off and just keep going. But do not use this to be scared of social media. Social media, I feel, is a big tool, especially in teenagers and millennials' lives right now. And also your teachers, like my teachers, they figured out that like if they post reminders on Twitter and stuff, their students will see it. So it's a great way to connect with your teachers if you need something or other students in your class if you miss an assignment. So just do not be scared of social media. It's also a very positive thing. All right, dating. So I did not date anybody as a freshman. I know a lot of people think that I did, but I promise you, I was a single lady all of high school, and I still am. And there's nothing wrong with that. Being single is totally fun. It's fun to have adventures with your friends, but it's totally cool to be dating too. That's, that's a big part of high school. So do not feel pressured to date somebody when you are a freshman. All right, drugs, alcohol, those are big things in high school. They probably shouldn't be like, that's not a good thing, but they are and you will encounter it in high school, I promise you. But you just gotta stay true to yourself and say, no way, that's not for me. And I just don't really know why people would do that. I mean, they wanna get high, why don't they just climb a tree? I'm just kidding, that was a joke. <laughs> All right, so obviously, as you might like guess, High school is a lot more fast paced than middle school or elementary school. You have a lot more responsibilities. So make sure you're ready for that as you go in. I mean, when I first got there, I was like, oh my, so much homework. And even just summer reading, I was like super overwhelmed with all the books I had to read. But you get really used to it and you really get good at like time management. I'd come straight home from school and I'd just like get my homework done and then i just have the rest of the day to chill. But you have a lot more homework, so make sure you leave time for that. All right, so obviously the point of high school is to train you for college, but that probably should be one of your main focuses. That's where all your grades are going, your test grades, your credit classes, and everything like that. So make sure you're trying to get good credits so that college is like you. And I mean, you don't have to know what college you want to go to until really you're like a junior. It's probably when you should start thinking about it. For freshman year, just kind of start exploring those options. I did decide to graduate a year early, so I will go to college a year earlier, or maybe take a gap year. I don't know yet, but uh, yeah, that's kind of how I'm preparing for college so just make sure you guys are focusing on college while you're in high school so something different about high school is that a whole bunch of middle schools are typically being combined into one school so there's a whole bunch of new options for friends and stuff and I found that like a friend groups changed a ton from middle school to high school so don't feel bad if you're kind of bouncing around from friend group to friend group trying to find your right friend group but things will change a lot and then they probably they, they'll probably settle down around the end of freshman year and then you'll probably stick with that same friend group yeah I, I found studying with my friends helped a ton we'd always cram before a test so make sure you guys have a good friend group all right, a big highlight of freshman year is probably learning to drive. So most people will be turning the age that they can get their learner's permit in their freshman year. And I just wanna say probably my biggest piece of advice for this is to get it as quickly as you can. Because like you might hit some bumps in the road where you might have to take a month off. Like I got I got a boot on my foot for two months and that like I couldn't drive for two months, but I was so ahead that I'm still ahead even though I couldn't drive for two months. So you always wanna make sure that you're ahead on that. And driving is super fun, so just know that that as soon as you can get it, you'll be free to like drive wherever you want or drive your friends around if you get it first in your friend group. So just don't be scared to drive. It's actually a lot of fun to drive and I think I'm pretty good at it. Drive, these drive. What happens if I let go of the gas? Ah! If a car were in that spot, you would have hit it. That was bad. Uh, drive? person who does not like group projects. I know a lot of people prefer them probably because they have people like me in the group who end up probably doing all the work. I know a lot of people who are like that. But just try to do your part in the group project. But you will probably eventually end up at least in one group project 
doing all the work. Just kind of take one for the team. It's just gonna happen, and if you want the good grade, you're gonna have to do it. So yeah, group projects are probably not that fun, but you're just gonna have to go with it. So you're probably gonna run into some competition in high school, whether it's on sports teams or in the actual classroom. I kind of run into both because I do play soccer, but on soccer I find it's pretty good because if they're good competitors to you, they're gonna be on your side when it comes to an actual game. As of in the classroom, competition is always good. It always makes people like work harder and try to be better. So just don't take it too far and go that step too far, but a little bit of friendly competition is always a good thing. All right, so a big thing that you need to know in your freshman year is about your teachers. So you always want to connect with them as soon as you can. Like for my uh, sophomore year, for my next year, I'm going to be out of town the first week of school and I have a ton of tests on the first day of school. So I have to figure out who they are and email them in the middle of the summer and already get my stuff for the work. So you want to make sure that you have a good contact with them. I have teachers that are so close that like I eat lunch in their classroom. Shout out to Dolly G, the best teacher ever. I know you're watching this. And you know, just have fun with your teachers. You're always going to remember them and they're there to help you. So yeah. So you probably have a lot of expectations of what high school is going to be, especially like being on the top sports team or in the highest choir. Just know that freshmen are most likely going to be on the bottom of those teams. Not, not always, but they're always supposed to be on the bottom because then they have room to improve and you most likely, like 99%, will be on the top part of it when you're a senior and upperclassman. But a lot of the high school experiences that you will have are focused on the upperclassmen because they've already been through it and it's kind of like their last years. Even if you don't make varsity, you still got three more years. So just kind of own it and have fun with it. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully it helps you new freshmen coming in. It is not scary. High school is totally nothing to worry about. And maybe it might help some of the other younger classmen or upperclassmen if you're still worried about coming into the next school year. I don't know. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel by clicking that red button down below. And you can also check out some more of my other videos by clicking over here. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.